Let me start by thanking the government and people of China, the People's Republic of China, for this very timely gift of 2,000 solar streetlights. This gift is very important and is in keeping with my government's policy, my government's 2020 policy in which we pledge to reduce our carbon footprint by 20% and to increase renewables or renewable energy by 20% by 2020. This is also demonstrative of the support of the People's Republic of China, the support that they have given to my government over the years. And as I've said time and time again, that the relationship between Antigua Barbuda and the People's Republic of China is significant. It is easily one of the best arrangements, one of the best relationships that we have, one of the most important development partnership that we have enjoyed over the years. The People's Republic of China has been very responsive to the developmental needs of our country. And here's a situation in which they have responded to a request to reduce or to help us to build capacity to reduce our carbon footprint, to ensure that we respond to the requirements of climate change, to ensure that we protect the environment, not only for the good of the present generation, but certainly to ensure that the use of future generations is protected. So again, I thank the People's Republic of China sincerely for this gift. And the fact too that we have gone ahead and engaged the Chinese in this initiative is also indicative of my government's commitment to the protection of the environment. I'm aware that we have a number of environmentalists who continue to preempt our government, but I just wish to reassure them that my government is a responsible government, and insofar as the protection of the environment is concerned, my government will continue to exercise leadership in respect of the protection of the environment. We will not be reactive, we will be proactive. And all of our developments, every single tourism development, they are required to introduce some renewable energy component in keeping with the policy of our government to reduce our carbon footprint. All developments will be pursued on an environmentally sustainable basis one in which we'll ensure that any potential damage to the environment will be limited, will be minimal, and one in which we will ensure the sustainable use of our resources. Again, I just want to close here by thanking the Chinese government once again for giving us their support and to help us with this very important aspect of climate change in which we seek to diversify into renewables. Uh, in fact, our policy is an integrated one, one that looks at energy production, diversifying into renewables. In fact, we have also engaged a firm out of Germany to provide us with a solar plant that will see the introduction of 10 megawatts of renewable energy within the next few months. You'll be aware too that the Minister of Environment has recently announced that we will be reducing or eliminating the use of plastic bags in supermarkets and to go for biodegradable bags instead. Also, we have a policy of introducing and expanding energy saving bulbs in homes, in government's offices. So again, just to reassure the entire population that my government would have demonstrated in one year, one year in office, that 
we are indeed very, very responsible. We are conscious of the impact of various practices on the economy, on the environment, and we continue to make sure that we put policies in place to ensure the sustainable use of our resources. So again, I thank you very much for coming, and we look forward to strengthening the relationship between the government of the People's Republic of China and the government of Antigua and Barbuda.